Man. Is that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? We are out and about again, even though it's still nice and cold and this guy is still kind of sick. I don't feel good. Why am I doing this? I was promised the best apple pie in Amsterdam. Well, okay, so everybody says that this place that we're heading to has the best apple pie and it kind of almost looks like a, like a cheesecake what? Apple pie. What? what? It's, it's made in a spring form pan. They put oh. this like really cool lid on it and everyone says that it's amazing. That's why I'm up at nine something in the morning oh on a Sunday. Oh my jeez. <laughs> wah wah. I like apple pie. So Cafe Winkel 43? Yeah. It's in the Nordmark. Yep, up in the north area, kind of like the Jordan area. Yeah, the old Jewish quarter. This market is literally turning 400 years old in 2023. That's kind of old. That's very old. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff up here too. A lot of cafes, places to eat. This is like what I think of Amsterdam when I think of going to Amsterdam. This is how like I picture it looking. So it's nice and toasty inside, but there's nowhere to sit. I made Nate come sit outside with me. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Bleak, cold. Isn't it too cold? It is, yeah, it is too, too cold. cold. No, it is too we cold. We need some hot drinks. Confirm. <laughs> Two slices of apple pie with yes. whipped cream. I'll have a hot chocolate also. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is a lot of whipped cream. Look at cream. how gorgeous it is. It's so pretty. It's a huge piece of pie. Oh my god, I'm very excited. Look at that crust. Homemade whipped cream. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. The crust on that is um, phenomenal. Wow. I feel like I judge pies based on their crust. Yeah. And if the crust is not up to par, then the whole pie is like ruined. Dang. I don't like apple pie, and this is really gonna go. Wow. Is it making your sickness feel better? No, but it's really good. That's probably the best apple pie I've had here in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I can't say ever because my memory's not that good. The whipped cream's really good too. I think people saying things are the best ever is a little overdone. So oh, it's the best ever, best ever. But what if it is the best ever? No, well, then you should save it for that month. I think it's pretty good. I would call this special. <laughs> it's special. No, really. It's like, the most special ever. I mean, because the crust is on top too. The crust is on top. That's what I thought was so unique about it. Okay, cool. Sure, I'll put the rest of this whipped cream in there. Why not? It was cute inside. Love to have shown you. Can't. It was nice and warm. There was no place for us to do this nonsense. Mm -hmm. So come here in the summer or spring. But there's probably a hundred people in line. It's alright. In the summertime morning. I'll say it's worth it. Okay, I just want to eat this crust. <gasps> I told you, it's like... Wow. The crust is something different. It's like a cookie or something. A crispy, crispy. Yeah. It feels almost fried. Yeah. It's not, but it's like... But it's thick and dense like a cookie, not like a normal pie crust. Wow, this is really good. If you go back and watch our other vlogs, you'll see us mention the whipped cream here. It's not super sweet like you have in the United States. Uh -huh. It's more like cream. It's like just whipped cream yeah. without tons of sugar in it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. But this is pretty good whipped cream though. Yeah, this is actually some of the best whipped cream I've had here. Yeah, they've definitely figured it out here. Highly Sometimes recommend. it almost tastes like butter. Like you can like taste that like dairiness in it. <laughs> Help me. So is it like standard to put raisins in an apple pie? Here in the Netherlands, I would say so. It seems like it, right? Well, actually even like, well, I guess strudel's different. A lot of the strudel that we've had this has also had uh, raisins in it. Raisins are like a cheap way to fill out like trail mix and stuff. I like raisins in trail mix. I don't. I get trail mix and like the only thing that's You want M&M's. I just want M&M's, let's be real. And peanuts. You want peanut M&M's. Why do I feel judged right now, bro? It's better if you buy trail mix because it's healthy and just eat the M&M's out of it than buying a bag of M&M's. This is one of the best apple pies I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot. 
This is a lot. It is a lot. Cafe Vinkel, 43. They don't say 43 on their signs, it just says Vinkel. Is that the address? Maybe. Since 1983. I think it was gonna be older than that. <laughs> two pies, two hot chocolates, 19 euros. It's a lot of pie. Full. Ugh. We should go home. Just kidding. <laughs> we're, we're, um, I mean, I wanna go home. We're going to commemorate this great morning. <laughs> with photos. There's a pretty cool old school photo booth at a hotel here called the Hoxton and it still uses film. That's why it's so unique. It's not a digital photo booth. All the hipsters are doing it, so. I wanna be a hipster. I think hipsters are all like 40 and they drive Volvos and have two kids and a shaggy dog. Then what is it now? The young like Gen Z? They're calling them Zoomers. Zoomers? Not boomers, but Zoomers. Because they were in the pandemic on Zoom? Like, what the fuck is I that? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Zoomer? <laughs> Katrina's having a moment, realizing that we live in one of those cities where everyone goes to visit. It's very true because our neighborhood doesn't look like how the buildings look down here. So when we come down here and do things out of our neighborhood, out of our comfort zone, it reminds me how pretty this city is. If you are gonna like- Very fortunate. If you are gonna explore and you don't want the crowds, clearly January, Sunday morning is a pretty good time to be here. <laughs> Just bring lots of layers and tissues and don't be sick. No. So this photo booth's kind of trendy, right? So trendy. Like a bunch of famous people have been in it, taking their picture. I don't know about famous people, but like YouTube famous people. Yeah, it's famous people. Okay, yeah. Bloggers, that's yeah. what I said, famous people. Yeah. I hope there's nobody else there right now. <laughs> they know me it's, it's in this hotel called the- The, the Hoxton. The Hoxton, okay. It's like a boutique hotel. And they have an old photo booth. Yeah. I have friends in Montreal, we've been there. Uh-huh, I know. Shout out to North Star, they have a photo booth. We took pictures of We it. did. We it's still have them. We have them. Actually in our living room. Yes, we do. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> These are gonna be good. All right. I don't know if like our faces are even gonna be in it. Oh, oh that's cool. It's very old school in there. Yeah, I have no idea if we were even in those photos. No idea. <laughs> well, we'll find out in five minutes. Although I think it's going to take longer because they're still waiting for their photos. So. so I think the photo booth's trying to like snuff us out in one of these photos. Look at that. Yeah, so four dollars for one of these and we wasted a dollar on the first one because it's all jacked up. Man, I look like I'm sick in these pictures. I wonder why. It got busy. Lots of people taking their photos. The good thing is is that it takes about 15 seconds to actually take the photos so people are kind of like moving through. Um, but yeah, definitely got busy. They're fun. Photo booths are I love photo school. booths. Yeah. It's neat. And these are like real old school film. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I like it a lot. It's fun. So here, there's a morning in Amsterdam for you. There you go. Okay, you're sick. Let's get you home. Bye.